Particle effects are quite popular in Touch Designer, and a lot of the time this is done using Particles GPU, where you can specify forces and things which move the particles around. In this video I'll show how to make a particle effect in a different way using instancing, which I think makes certain types of particle motion and shape easier to achieve. So the main setup uses a circle sop that is really small as the particle instance. I've used the constant material and I have reduced the opacity as I think this makes it look cooler. And of course this goes into the geometry comp where I have turned on instancing. And I've got a top called pause that specifies the position of the particles. So each pixel in this top specifies the position of one of the particles. The red value of the pixel specifies the x coordinate, the green value specifies the y coordinate, and blue specifies the z coordinate. This top is 800 by 800 pixels, meaning that there are 640,000 particles. This is rendered with the default lighting camera, although I moved the camera to 0.1z. Now if I show the position top you'll see that it consists of multicoloured noise that's been layered and manipulated in certain ways. And you might be thinking how do you know what this noisy top data is going to look like when used to specify the position of a bunch of particles in 3D space? Well, you don't, or I don't anyway. All I've done with this is messed around with the parameters and combining things and from trial and error I've found combinations that I think look cool. For example, right now I have two different noise tops, both the same resolution with different parameters. I've changed the levels of one of them and then combines them with a composite top. And I've used some chops to control certain parameters of the noise to create movement. Like I've got this pattern controlling the offset so that it has this upward diagonal movement. And I've got this noise which is quantized with the limit chop controlling the Z transform of the noise tops. This gives a kind of choppy movement. Here is another combination that gives quite different results. You can also play around with Displace. This is set up with quite a subtle effect, but you can go crazy with it if you want. You can also use Limit, which will put bounds on where your particles can go, like you can see they are confined to this box. Another thing I've experimented with is using SOP data. So I can say get a grid SOP, then go SOP to CHOP, and finally CHOP to TOP. And you can see if I just feed this into the POS TOP and make the circle bigger, you just get the grid of points. I can blend this with top data, for example by using a cross top, which can create some really interesting effects.
There are, of course, infinite ways you can change and combine data to get different results. The only other thing here is some post-processing. I have a transform top adding the black background, I have a level top changing the brightness and contrast, and I added some subtle random noise on top. And that's all. I appreciate that I didn't go into everything in detail, so if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment, and thanks for watching.